spy with my little eye something that is stripey. <laughs> A stripey beach ball, Nick. Right, Solly. Your turn. I spy with my little eye something else that's stripey. I know. <laughs> my mom's stripey shirt. <laughs> I spied something else that's striped. Hmm, something else? <laughs> oh, the cat's hat. What's that about my hat? It's the cat. <laughs> the cat in the hat. We're looking for stripey things. Oh, I love stripey things. Especially my hat. There are so many different stripes everywhere you look. There are. <gasps> I know. Let's go on a stripey safari and see if we can find a new stripe that I like better. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. All right. <laughs> Mom, can we go on a stripey safari with the cat in the hat to help him find some new stripes? A stripey safari? <laughs> sure. I just love stripes. <laughs> we can go. We can go. I know. I know. To the thingamajigger. It's time for our stripey safari. Buckle up. <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away! Go, 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 go! On an adventure, we're flying with the cat! Stripey safari to find stripes for my hat. You really can't do any better than that. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure. Go, 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 go. First off on our stripey safari is stripey planes. Stripey, 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 stripey. We're off to find some stripes we like -y. I wonder what the first will be. We're off to find some stripes. What be? I spy with my little eye something stripey. What is it? Let's go see. <laughs> hey, what's with the stampede and all? I'm sleeping here. <gasps> It's a stripey snake. Meet Jake, the coral snake. Watch out, he bites. You got that right. Sorry we surprised you. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was me who surprised you, see? Lucky you saw my stripes. Ain't they beauties? I want colorful stripes like that for my hat. After all, I am the colorful cat in the hat. Hey, who turned out the lights? Ta-da! <laughs> cool! Nice stripes, yeah. <laughs> but are these stripes right for me? I spy with my little eye more stripes. Wow, chipmunks. <laughs> They're so cute. Hello, my little stripey friends. <laughs> hmm, was it something I said? Don't move. There's a scary snake on your head. Those stripes mean d -d 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 danger. You got that right. Nobody messes with old Janky Boy. You can't have danger stripes on your hat. No, not at all. I'm the friendliest cat. I want stripes that say welcome, not stay away. These are not the right stripes for me. No way. Good luck finding another. <laughs> to the thingamajigger. Stripey, 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 stripey. We're off to find some stripes we likey. Stripes that don't mean stay away. We're off to find more stripes. Hooray! Welcome to Flag Stripe Mountain. I don't see any flags, but I do see stripes. Wow, check out those stripey flowers. Let's take a closer look. Hello, little 
little flower. You're very pretty. <gasps> oh, oh, the Rocky Mountain Iris is one of my favorite flowers. That big stripe makes it fun. <gasps> oh, a big fun stripe is perfect for my hat. What do you think? A big fun stripe for a big fun cat? Huh? Look! More stripes! Well, hello! It looks like you've made a bee friend. A whole swarm of them! Time to buzz off! Run! <gasps> Why are the bees chasing us? They took one look at the cat and went wild! I have that effect on people. It's a gift. <laughs> Oh, I think it's safe. Oh. Hey, where's all the yummy nectar? What nectar? Flower stripes show us bees where to land to find nectar to make honey. Stripes this big should be dripping with nectar. <laughs> it wasn't the cat that made the bees go wild. It was his hat. <laughs> they think it's a big flower. <laughs> I did want a welcoming stripe. I'm sorry, my hat is not a real Rocky Mountain Iris. The flowers you want are over there. You could try a busy bee stripe. <laughs> no, bee stripes are too buzzy for me. But I just thought of some that will be perfect. Let's go and meet the stripiest animal I know. Stripey, 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 stripey. stripey. We're off to find more stripes we like With the stripiest animal that I know. It's fun to find stripes wherever you go. Welcome to the Dusty Busty Belt. I spy with my little eye something very stripey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see. Meet Zoran and Zelda Zebra. Hi, I'm Sally. I'm Nick. I'm Zoran. I'm Zelda. Do you mind if I copy your stripes to my hat? Go right ahead. <gasps> That's a great stripe. How about mine? Hmm, it's so hard to choose. Every zebra has a stripe all their own. Your faces do look different. Unlike yours. Huh? Our faces look different. Not to us, Nick. I'm Sally. And I'm Nick. Got it? Got it, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had really cool zebra stripes. Yeah. Then Zorn and Zelda could tell who is who. Oh, need help changing stripes? Then here's what you do. Give a quick whistle for thing one and thing two. That's better. Now we can tell who's who. Love that stripe, Sally. <laughs> Great stripey face, Nick. <laughs> Cat, what's the matter? Zebra stripes are great for telling who's who, but I know who I am. I'm the cat in the hat. There's no doubt about that. I'm not a zebra, a snake, or a bee. I need some stripes that say, I am me. Like your old stripes. Uh-huh, but how will I ever get them back? <laughs> Maybe if you put your hat on your head, you'll get your old stripes back. Hmm. Think stripey. Got it. We went on safari and found lots of stripes. All shapes and sizes and colors and types. Some warned to stay clear. Others said who is who. But the best stripe of all is the stripe that is you. you. Nick, Sally, is that 
you? Can't you tell from our stripes? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Zorin. Goodbye, Nick. Thanks, Zelda. You're welcome. Sally? I'm Nick. <laughs> <laughs> sure you are, you big kidder. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Despite so many stripy things. The stripy beach ball, your mom's stripy shirt, and her apron, too. Jake the coral snake, and the chipmunk, the bees, and the Rocky Mountain iris, and Zorn and Zelda zebra. Don't forget the best of all the cat in the hat! Yay! Oh, isn't this a good time? <laughs> <laughs> Hi there! Huh? What was that? Did you hear that? That sounded like a rattle to me. Oh, a rattlesnake uses a part of its body to make a rattling noise. So, where is a rattlesnake's rattle? Did you say on its tail? That's right! They rattle their tails as a warning when they sense danger. You got it this time, but next time I will stump you for sure. Aha! Uh. Uh -huh. I caught you! Knit one, pearl two. Wow! I did it, Nick! Did what, Sally? Mom's been teaching me how to knit, and I finished my first row all by myself. That's great! Uh, but what is it? A big woolly scarf. Cool! I want to make a scarf, too. Can you teach me how to knit, please? Okay. First, you need some wool. How about this? Red's a great color for a scarf. <gasps> it's the cat! The cat in the hat! Knit one, pearl two. Nice to see ya. Howdy do. See what I did? Ooh, that's a beautiful scarf, Sally. I want to make a scarf too, but we don't have any more wool. No more wool? Hmm, that will not do. Luckily, I know a place that's full of wool. Wait. Fanola's farm. Does Fanola grow wool on her farm? She most certainly does. Shall we go and see if she has any to spare? Yeah! Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Mom! Can we go with the cat to Fanola's farm to get some wool? Fanola's farm? Of course you can go. <laughs> Have a ball, you two. We will. We can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! I don't need a scarf, but I'd love a woolly hat. The fish in the hat. Well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up! <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thingamajigger is up and away! Go, 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 go! On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today! On Fanola's farm, we'll find Nick some wool. It's the very best place to find a bag full. Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, go, 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 go! Here we are, Fanola's farm. Hooray! Fanola! Fanola! Over here! Well, hi ho it's the cat in the hat. Hi! Well, hello to you two. What can I do for y'all today? 
Nick wants to knit a scarf, but we don't have enough wool. So we came to you for help. There's plenty of wool growing on the farm. You just need to find it. Finding wool? Okay, let's go. I'll meet you in the shearing shed. Happy wool finding. Yeehaw! What's a shearing shed? We'll figure that out when we find the wool. Keep your eyes open for wool. Where, oh where, oh where is the wool? Looky here. That's not wool. It's a wiggly worm. So it is. Hello. Is there any wool underground? <gasps> you don't say. Oh, that is amazing. I see. He says no. <sighs> if wool doesn't grow on trees or in the ground, where does it grow? It must be around here somewhere. But where? We need to ask Felicia the sheep. Felicia! Huh? huh? Oh, Felicia! Cat! <laughs> oh, where can Felicia be? <laughs> Behind you! What? Oh! <laughs> Felicia, there you are! Hello! It's lucky sheep are so soft and fuzzy. Wait a minute. Soft and fuzzy. That's because they're covered in wool. Really? <gasps> it is wool! It grows on sheep! Hooray! <laughs> we found the wool! Now we can meet Finola in the... Huh, where did she say? The shearing shed, I think. Shearing? Ah! Did you say shearing? Yes! <laughs> it's shearing time! Ah! Ah! Huh? What is shearing? Shearing? Oh, I know a lot about that. When a sheep has a haircut, we call it shearing. Shearing shed, here we come! <laughs> here we go! <laughs> me! Me first! <laughs> you really like being sheared, don't you? It's marvelous! How would you like it if you had to wear a big woolly sweater all summer? It would be so hot. And it would get dirty, too. And ever so slightly stinky. That's why we love shearing. Come on, girl. Bah! Here we go. <laughs> it tickles. Cool. Here, you try, Nick. Hey, I'm shearing a sheep. Me, too. Snip, snip, yeah, clip, clip, there. I'll be with you in a moment, ma'am. Ah, it's my turn now. Oh, 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 oh you'd make a good sheep shearer. Whew. All done. Oh, I so do love being sheared. Ah. <laughs> what are you two looking at? <laughs> you look so, so different. And I feel so much lighter and cooler, too. Ah. Thanks for the wool, Felicia. You're welcome. Ah. Ah. Fabulous, ladies. Just fabulous. Ah. This doesn't look like the wool that Sally used to make her scarf. This is how it started out. It's called a fleece. Want to see what happens next? Yes, yes please. please. Why are we washing the wool? Well, because the sheep have been outside in the dirt and the mud. Yes, wool from a sheep can be dirty and greasy. So it must be washed to be nice, whoa, clean, whoa, and fleecy. <laughs> <laughs> Next job is to dry it in the sun. <laughs> that beats you too, cat. <laughs> there, nice and dry. What do we do now, Finola? We brush the wool to straighten and stretch it. The very best way to divide up the strands is to use special brushes. Please don't use your hands. <gasps> it's like when my mom brushes my hair. I can do it. We call it carding when we do it to wool. I call it fun. <laughs> it's great. 
But it still doesn't look like something Nick can knit with. It will be soon. We just have to take it for a spin. Any minute now, you'll have wool for your scarf. But how? My spinning wheel twists lots of thin strands together to make a big, thick yarn. Oh. Dizzy! Hey, it works! That's like the wool I use for knitting. That's right. Yarn is another word for it. Yarn! All I do is pull Felicia's wool into strands and let the spinning wheel do the rest. Watch! Spin, spin, the spinning wheel spins, the spinning wheel spins. Look, the wool is turning into yarn. Spin, spin, sing hi-ho, the spinning wheel spins and spins. <laughs> Here you are. Cool, wool for my scarf. Thanks, Finola. You're welcome. If you can wait, I can dye it red or green or any color you like. We like it the way it is. Oh. What will you do with all the other wool? All sorts of things. Right, Cat? Oh, yes. With wool, there are so many things you can do. I'll show you with help from Thing 1 and Thing 2. <laughs> you can start with my hat, which is made from the stuff. Add mittens and coats, and if that's not enough... A blanket, a sweater, some socks and a tie. Not to mention a carpet your parents might buy. A vest and some pants. I could go on forever. Even covers for chairs. Now isn't that clever? Hooray! Come again soon! Did you get any wool for me? Huh, huh? You can have some of mine! Huh? Oh, my very own woolly hat! We went to the farm to find wool Nick could keep. And we found out you can't have wool without sheep! Knit one, and then you go back and under. Now you try. Knit one, go back and under. I did it! I can knit! Look, I knitted a scarf! Nick, it's only one stitch. But it's a great stitch. Wouldn't you say this was a great stitch? Well, I know what Felicia would say. What? <laughs> Welcome to Hat Chat. Today we're interviewing our friend Gecko, one of the greatest hiders in the world. I am the hiding master. Tell me, Gecko, what makes you such a good hider? Where did he go? Amazing speed, right? But watch this. Watch what? He's gone again. Yoo-hoo! That's called camouflage. See, my colors match the tree, so it makes me hard to find. Any other hiding tricks? Where did he go? I'll bet you want to know how I did that. Well, you see, I have these tiny little hairs on the bottom of my feet, and they stick to the tree and... Hey! Where did everybody go? Surprise! Now that's good hiding! That's a wrap with our friend Gecko, one of the world's greatest hiders. I am the master! The groundhog lives in a grassy place. He likes to dig himself a den, cause it's a nice cozy space. You say, hey! Oh yeah! He likes to get fat before he hibernates. He's gonna sleep away the winter till the weather is great. I said, hey, it's the groundhog way. Here we go. There's lots of creatures that hibernate, like bats and frogs and even snakes. They wind up tight like a ball of string, and you're never gonna catch a glimpse of them until spring. A long winter's nap, and he's ready to eat. He lost all his fat, but he got enough sleep. I said, hey, it's the Groundhog Way. Hey, it's the Groundhog Way. It's the Groundhog Way. Yeah.
The forest in spring looks so shiny and new. The buds are bud green and the bluebells are blue. The baby birds hatch and the young squirrels chatter. So it's worms for the former and nuts for the latter. In the summer, the forests awake and alive. Bees carry nectar from flower to hive. There's plenty of sunshine and good things to eat. And time for a nap or a doze in the heat. In the autumn, the leaves turn to yellows and reds. And bears all retire in their winter beds. Some birds fly south where it's warm and it's bright. Others stay in the cold and they hunker down tight. But in the winter, the plants and the animals all wait, for they know the spring will return with the melting of snow. Today, I have a really tough question about a snake. What part of a snake's body helps it smell things like this smelly perfume? Excuse me! Mmm, smells good. Well, do you know what part of a snake's body it uses to smell things? Did I hear some of you say tongue? That's right! You got it this time, but next time I'll stump you for sure.